Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Today's video is the 10th video in our series on ITIL Service Strategy. In this video, I want to talk about how demand management ensures that the appropriate costs are included in the service design part of the ITIL life cycle. This involves two pieces. Once again, let me back up and say that this video, is long, along with the whole series of videos, is adapted from a BMC, BMC, the ITSM tool maker, white paper, or whatever you want to call it, article on their website. And so, formally, demand management ensures that the appropriate costs are included in service design by two different ways. Number one, demand prognosis. The BRM analyzes the IT service consumption and will forecast future consumption. We'll look at uh, patterns of business activities, workload profiles, all of that stuff to try to draw, hey, how much of our services will be consumed six months, a year, five years from now? And the pattern of business activity will measure frequency, volume, duration, location. Each of those is very important. And so the duration is how long of the pattern of business activity lasts. Is it peak or is it flatline? Volume is the large amount or small amount of activity. Frequency is maybe our pattern of business activity is only once a year, a year in closing of our financial books. We just want to capture that so we know how to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. And lastly, the location. Location's huge. I know most people gloss over this one, but location is huge. What happens if you have too much demand for services at one location and not enough at another? We need to figure out how to do our resources or our services in that way, maybe our configuration items. The second thing we also need to look at is demand control. Demand control is the way that IT service providers allow for control of the IT service consumption. This can be done through technical means. Think of network throttling. Happens to me on my cell phone almost too often on it per month when my carrier throttles me down. It also could be financially. We financially control by putting in thresholds that if you use this much, it costs you that much more and more and more. And developing differential, differentiated offerings allows us to have demand control. By differentiated, we have some customers that only want platinum service, some that want gold, silver, and some are fine with aluminum because it costs them less and they don't have a high need for a high level of service. Hopefully this explains pretty well. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Please like or share the video, subscribe to our channel, Leave me feedback below. Also, below in the description, I have linked the rest of this playlist. Uh, we have linked the playlist, the rest of this series, as well as other videos on the topic. I hope you have a great, great day.